Sri Lanka's most powerful news brand. News First Newsline with Faraz Shaukatali. And a wonderful morning to you. This is Newsline, live as always from the News First studios in Dawson Street in Colombo and broadcasting on TV One, which of course is a proud member of the Capital Maharaja Group. Now then, the landscape is all political, isn't it, at the moment? But there has been great uh, anticipation by the people of our country. And um, uh, a couple of days ago, uh, finally, the people were somewhat happy. And they were happy because uh, President uh, Sirisena had um, finally released the contents of that much and long-awaited um, Commission of Inquiry report. And the President read from that report. And uh, there was, uh, I would say, there was great, uh, great uh, joy and uh, the, the report gave no end of uh, encouragement to good governance. And finally, we could actually r literally see good governance in action. To discuss this and more, and from a legal perspective, we've got the very inimitable, the one and only, Gomin Dasri. Very good morning to you, Mr. Gomin. Thank you. You, you. Uh, I'm overdressed uh, for a particular reason. <laughs> that is, to, I, I, did, I get I, up and turn down. Oh, I say, do sit down. Are, no, yes. please. It's an honor to me to shake your hand because you have today been the sole uh, ownership I, 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 of this. I, do, do, do sit down. Thank and you very can, much. Can I extend the hand a little further to your boss, Mr. Raja Mahendran, now, and his and that wonderful uh, Sashi. I mean, these are people who have been behind the scene and like Ranjit Vijayawada and the Financial Times. They've done a magnificent job and I salute such people and you. Now, don't get inflated too much. You might get deflated soon. The deflationary process has already started. Uh, you are most kind and on behalf of uh, um, all these people you just mentioned, thank you. But we want to tell you this, that this is second nature, upholding media freedom, the freedom of speech, and upholding the very real need to hold those in high office accountable and to scrutinize their actions. Because after all, Mr. Govindasri, I wonder if you will agree with me, the role of the media is not merely to report the news, it is to explain the news and to hold all items to be under scrutiny. Beautiful words for us. And I must further say that Raja and Sashi, I think your serious is in safe hands for many generations if Sashi is going to take over someday because there are great men like Ranjit Vijayawardhan and Financial Times that first exposed this story along with you. I think there are big men who are behind the scene, never seen. That is why I want to surface them and give them the credit for having brought a Prime Minister down, tottering. Uh, actually, uh, you know, we didn't do that. You didn't? No, you it, didn't. Is, it is the Prime Minister who did it himself. He did it himself because and, he has... And, and I want to tell you this, uh, Mr. Gobi. You know, as much as we uh, are uh, thankful to you for your very, very kind words. Team News First is beyond a few people. Team News First composes of a whole plethora of people, all committed to the same thing, which is to uphold good governance and democracy. Yes, I quite uh, agree with you. Everybody. Uh, quite. Mr. And Robert. there are three people I'd like to mention. Uh, the Dawson Street man, if you are the Dawson Street man, the Dawson Street gang, that is Gayan, mm -hmm. Suranga, and Roshan. I mean, all of them behind the scenes assisted in this great venture, not to bring the Prime Minister. Prime Minister, I say, would has, has, what has happened to him was he joined bad company. In Buddhism, you say, Asa is for Nacha Balanang. That's what happened. Is that, is, that, is that the bit where you choose the best from each person? From you know, what it means is you must, to get the best out of people or to be on top, you have to be in good company. He go, I, I would say he's been... What happens when you find yourself 
uh, when you find yourself in bad company. You must, you, must, you, must un, you must be able to appreciate that and not join them. You must stay away from them. But isn't it better to uh, go on the basis that some, uh, even, even the bad have some good and to take the good out of the bad and leave the bad alone? No, that's wonderful. But the thing is, you must not get involved with the bad because I think Ranil Vikram Singh's greatest asset was that he was clean. And today, I think this has very great political implications. I listen to the president. I'm, no, I'm not a president's fan, remember that. But I credit him. His performance was brilliant. But he picked up the... So he did not spotlight anybody or highlight any event. He very narrated it very dispassionately, majestically. I would just say you, you, something you, you, more than you. presidential. It was majestic delivery. And he hit the right point. I mean, I think it is the media that made him throw against the pond issue rather than against the many, many issues that are against level against the opposition. He picked it up because the focal point in this whole exercise has been more the government, the bond, which is the most staggering scam of all times. I mean, we had scams of different levels, but this was the biggest, uh, great, greatest bank robbery in history. And it was a right, somebody tried to bring Royal College, I'll say that this was a right royal mess. The royalists took over situations, the bad guys, and they made a good Means, guy bad. Well, actually, in all this, uh, it highlights, in my, in my view, it highlights uh, that it is within the context of the, the ambience that is in prevalent in this country right now, within that context, it is very essential, in my view, to maintain and encourage the office of the presidency. I think you're spot on because the president is, is totally divorced from the parliament, totally divorced from the prime minister and he was able to emerge. Now remember, I told you just two days ago, 48 hours in his program that he was in doldrums. Today he's in the height of uh, power. I think he's surpassed Ranil Vikram Singh. I think UNP will have to beg him to take the presidential title and lead the UNP back into, uh, into the system. It has brought down Mahindra Rajapaksa because Mahindra Rajapaksa's survival depends on Ranil. Because obviously, when you look at Mahindra Rajapaksa, he's a hero of, one, of a period during the war. He has completely eliminated terrorism. He has made this a very but, safe country. But yes. thereupon, it's the people who, who have to blame. People made him feel that he's a king. And to that, he thought king can do no wrong. And but to be, to be fair, I, I, I'm not taking anything away from the victory over terror. But I believe that overall, the people of this country, our people, are peace-loving, liberal-minded, and want to get on with the next man. They have no uh, hankering for uh, killing one another. And that mantra outlived its usefulness. That mantra was, we won the war. And what was not said was, because we won the war, we could do jolly well what we wanted. No. And the people of this country were not we're not letting that happen. Certainly. But people of this country wanted terrorism eliminated. Of Don't course. think terrorism is uh, Tamil nationalism. That is the mistake we make. I think we have to give the Tamil people their rightful place. But terrorism, I think Mahindra Rajapaksa did a wonderful job that no other could do. And that is why if he's, con if he's, candid if he's contesting Ranil Vikram Singh, the question of corruption would have been the issue that Ranil would have scored. But today, he's after this report, He's in a bad way. He's in a worse way than ever. So that if Ranil goes, Mahinda will have to answer the charge of corruption. When so he will fade off. I think we are in a very fortunate place in 2018. I think new people can emerge now. We can get rid of two leaders with one stone, and that stone, you are responsible for directing it the proper way. I told you once upon a time, don't go too long, too hard at this. This is getting into public with What is this? You mean the bond? Bond issue. And I told you it can go into public board, boredom, but I think you pressed on. If you didn't press on, it would have been a forgotten issue. It would have been swept under the carpet. You and Maharaja Group and the gang at Dawson Street deserves all the credit. I'm so glad that you, you're, you're clearly fans of ours. Uh, but uh, you are not mine. I can <laughs> re well remember when the last presidential commission came, when I was defending the forces, 
I don't think uh, uh, Sirasa was with me. But remember, even at that time, I tell you one little incident. When Sirasa got into difficulties, they came to me as counsel, and at that time, I remember Raja. We had the differences, but differences don't merge when it comes to problems. We are what we are. You are. And, and be that. we will always be so. And don't uh, ever. We get have it. got the courage to be different, and we are always having the courage to be different. We are always different. And just on a final note, you look, you look permanently inflated, but my dear friend, don't allow that to grow. Not at De all. Deflate not at yourself all. a little. Not at all. We, we are not. But today, the Daily Mirror, uh, the wonderful paper, is, um, it, its front page has got several stories that we can, uh, we, 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 that can drive this thing. Um, and you know, here, here we go, look, let, let, let me show this paper here. Um, that, that's the Daily the, the Daily Mirror today, and it's got my scribbles on there, my, my scribbles, right? Uh, now then, <clears throat> this paper, look, and, and it's got stuff over there as well, right? That, that's, the, uh, that's the front page, uh, and the bottom half of the front page. Now then, um, we've, uh, we've thrown aside considerations of, commercial, of a commercial nature for that few seconds, but le le let's look at these stories. One, Professor G.L. Pires says that the president must also be held responsible. Practically difficult to recover the money and prosecute Mr. Mandan since he's Singaporean. Look, Professor G.L. Pires, stop politicizing these problems, right? There is absolutely, what, what is he trying to say? Just because that the president was the appointing authority, let us bear in mind that President Sirisena and Prime Minister Anil Vikram Singh were, are, in a coalition. And President Sirisena objected, along with Patali Champika Ranawaka and Dr. Rajita Senaratna, at the appointment of Arjuna Mahendran, who had, shall we say, some history. And they were assured, they including President Sirisena, freshly elected by the people of this country with a mandate, all of his own, President Sirisena relied on the assurances given by Prime Minister Vikramasinghe that he will ensure that no such thing will happen, that everything will go according to plan. And that plan was not to rob or scandalize the central bank. So, Professor G.R. Pires, you know, sometimes get real. Now then, the other, the other story in this thing here. Even at this late stage, why, Mr. Gowin, can't Mr. Karunanayaka, you know, he says here, he's quoted as saying, that I am at a loss to understand how I became a suspect. Come on, Ravi, please. Do you know, the Commission report refers to the former Finance Minister as being the beneficiary of rent payments by the Loshes family for the penthouse apartment which he occupied and also giving false testimony. Please, it is clear, don't try to belittle these people, the, the Commission. Then they compose Two of the three are serving Supreme Court judges, for heaven's sake. We revise uh, for us. I think it's very important to remember that Ravi Karunanayaka is not taken seriously by the people of this country. I mean, after all that evidence he has emerged and he says this kind of thing, I think, I think President Mahit uh, Palasi Sena put him in the right track. He said clearly that where wrong has been committed. He read that portion from the report. And this is a report of two eminent Supreme Court judges whom I backed. And I'm very proud of them right now because they have lived up to their reputation. No, there's, there's something else no, they, want I, to Let go me on. say one thing more. I think G.L. Pires, again, is a literate idiot. That's my description of him. Because uh, he's a literate idiot. Right. Because he is trying to build up Rajapaksa from nothing. Rajapaksa has fallen badly on the question of uh, corruption. And the second report, which Mahindapala did not read out in extensively, I think there's very good reason. 
there's political implications in this whole situation. The man who was number three down behind um, Rajapaksa and Vikram Singh has now emerged on top. So Vikram Rajapaksa will try to hit uh, uh, Sirisena. Now Sirisena has brought presidency to a great height. I think he has really impressed us. The need for the of office of presidency still further. I, 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 I think absolutely right. Because the, the office of the presidency, if yeah. not for the office of the presidency, we would still perhaps still have Mr. Mahendran. Definitely, at the of because remember what GLP is forgets so comprehensively <coughs> is the fact that. He has forgotten completely the fact that, uh, uh, fact that, uh, I'm sorry, my telephone is working. I'll switch it off. Give me a moment. I, I, right. It's bought a new extend. I don't know how it works. Just one minute, please. I'll switch it off. I'll see it. Right. Shall we help you? Thank you. Just keep it yourself. Now, you. what, what has happened is, it was the president who appointed Mr. Uh, Kumarasamy, if Ranil Vikram Singh had his space, Mr. Yeah, Mahendran would have been in office and he would, the central bank would have gone on and on. Now, I have one other consideration. Yeah, I, I, want, I, want, I want to bring this uh, thing to you. Uh, the, the front page of the Daily Mirror also says that, le that uh, the JVP are calling for legal action to be taken against Cabra um, and the, the former governor of the central bank. And um, uh, uh, they say that the claim is that the bond report had found that the funds of the EPF were lost mostly during his tenure. And, well, and that must be uh, welcome news, of course, that the, the JVP uh, are asking for a, um, a, a investigation into that. I think it was after political appointments were made that the central bank deteriorated rapidly. Now, I would like to say one thing. I was worked at DFCC, and during that time, a most peculiar request was made by the central bank through Mr. Cabra. They wanted money to be given to judges of the Court of Appeal and Supreme Court who were going to Singapore, and they were asking the DFCC to fund it. Now, DFCC was... Is that, uh, is that uh, highly unusual? Highly unusual because I, this incident, together with another incident when I saw in Jaffna, when I was there at the Talhevana, I saw all the judges being brought in vans with their children and husbands and taken round. So I asked them, many of them are my friends, I asked them, what are you doing here? They said, well, we brought over a seminar. There was no seminar, it was just a trip. Now, why was the central bank at that time... This is the time of Cabral trying to play to the to buy up the judiciary. They were wise. They knew that there would be cases, I presume, because otherwise these are matters that you can't give judges. And I, I when I was in DFCC, I questioned why, who, who are, who is going to give this, who's selecting the judges? They said the then president of the court of appeal was selecting the judges, and they were getting this additional allowance, maybe a shopping allowance. Mm. Now that is the way the central bank behaved. They wanted to buy over the judiciary. Maybe bought. I don't know. They got a case which they got a fairly reasonably favorable result. I don't say that they did anything wrong, but, well, there is a presumption. So, Raja, I would I would prepare to give evidence if this comes up, because I was at the DFCC as an independent director. Well, I, I hope uh, the, the, uh, all investigations can only be good news. Now, that the, 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 the other story in front of the um, uh, front page of the paper, of course, is that uh, Mr. Faisal Mustafa, um, is uh, asking the, uh, the media not to politicize the statement made by uh, President Maitre Palacios, and quite, quite right too. Uh, but, um, you know, nothing wrong to uh, report the news. Uh, and uh, we quite, uh, quite agree, nothing really should be politicized. But I've got a very important question for you, and this is this. The Election Commissioner's Gazette notification we know it has to be placed uh, before Parliament, but why is the, is the Prime Minister, Mr. Vikram Singh, trying to bring in a new law? Well, he are we are we? Am I right in being sort of suspicious of that? Well, whatever Vikram Singh does now, one will have to be suspicious because it's a question of hanging on. Can he survive? Can he? Can the UNP 
carry him as their leader when such serious allegations are made against him. So therefore, he, he would have to be somewhat suspicious in national interest. But what is important, more important is the political fallout from this whole event. Now, I think Sirisena leads the field. And Sirisena, if he does correctly, if he lives up to his word, he often doesn't. But if he does this time, I think he would. He would go down as a great president because so, he would can. Be, this is the first genuine attempt I see where, where Yaha Palani has come into effect. So let him carry it forward. He won on that plank. He might win again on that plank. And this is very important because he says he's going to hand the matter over to the uh, Attorney General. Now I'm happy that he's going to hand it over to somebody because. He should not hand it over to the central bank where central bank officials, I'm talking of the board of directors, they knew very well that this money has been utilized. You, talk, you mean you talk about the monetary board? Monetary board. I'm yeah. talking of the monetary board. The monetary board directors, I suppose, they since Members Ryan of Wickham, the monetary board. The, since they have been appointed by Mr. Ronald Wickstringer, maybe Stooges, maybe Psychovans, I don't know what they are. Let's not call them too many names. But... They did know about this whole thing and they took no steps. They slept over the process of recovery. Now president is compelled to ask people to process laws, to set up laws to protect, to recover the money. It should have been done and it should have been done by the members of the monetary, monetary company. What have been doing? I think they should be taken to golfers and given a good spanking and sent home. That is what they need. Because they have got over the situation. And I would also say, I'm a little worried, concerned about the person you've been performing here. I mean, I would like to put in this question, Mr. Vijay Warden. There are several, now, now there are several questions from our viewers. One of them is, uh, is asking, is there a time frame to initiate legal action as envisaged by uh, the, pres uh, the pre uh, Commission of Inquiry? Yes, it's report. 10 years for cr criminal law. It uh, depends on the civil law is different, but certainly laws can be brought and these people... But so, 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 so at I, the I, moment it's 10 years for criminal? If it's criminal, but then it need not be criminal. May I say, put it this way, I don't think we need any laws to prosecute. Here's the findings by two Supreme Court judges. What you know got to do is what Jaja or the do. And President has pointed the finger. He's, he has left it, left the Parliament the, the, the function of legislating. Now Parliament should only do legislate this act, put it into operation like Jaja uh, or then did well. So mean, as it was pointed out yesterday uh, on on Pathika the last morning, um, do we seriously? Can the public seriously expect? The, uh, the members of parliament to raise their hand in favor of new legislation when that new legislation is going to affect quite a number of these people in parliament. No, I would say they would certainly raise both hands if it concerns the Bond Commission report, which has a report not by two Supreme Court judges. They can't do it for the other one because they were no judges, they were not they were not experts in the legal field. The but, but here this is a different and this is a presidential commission. Mm. And presidential commission, last time remember when the Supreme Court knocked down the presidential commission against Mrs. Mandanaika, Jiaja one revived it with a resolution in Parliament, put it in, back into shape and then uh, Remove her civic rights. They can very well do here. They, 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 are, they had the Supreme Court judge, judgment standing against them. There is no Supreme Court judge, and we have an excellent Supreme Court who will stand up to it. And then so, uh, the other thing, we mustn't. So we must get on fast track. My fear is it will put to the Attorney General, the Attorney General's Department, sleep, sleep ah, yes, over, but, uh, will sleep about over it. And there, there will be prosecutions beginning from be, from day one. Now that the stage must we must bypass it. That but, will take but, twenty but, uh, years. Uh, twenty we, years. We have we have. Uh, if we listen, if you listen carefully to what President Sirisena said, he said that he's asked his secretary uh, to keep him regularly informed as to the progress, and that was very important because quite often our politicians sort of forget. They, they have a good intention, true, but then they kind of forget and let it slip by. But the president very specifically said that he's going to ask his, uh, his instructor, his secretary, to keep him fully informed and to keep on the ball in short. Excellent performance. I would say it's not presidential, it's majestic. It's, 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 it's something much more than being presidential. Every word he said, I'm, I, he must have had a team. That team should be congratulated. They've done a magnificent uh, job. But 
The thing is, you have to, can't waste time on this. People can't sleep on this. You must get away with it. So legislate, bring the culprits and recover the money and send that to Central Bank, Monetary Board, Hope, where they have been just doing nothing at all. They should have had these laws. I think Mr. Kumar Assam is a very honest, intelligent gentleman, but he is another bureaucrat. He's slow. You must take off fast. I think president should do what the last president did. He handed the matter over to lawyers that of his choice. But he it looks like, like, it looks to me, when, when you say that about uh, Dr. Indrajit uh, Kumar Sami, who, uh, who is widely accepted very uh, and, and, and well we regarded, that incorrect. his, his uh, integrity is beyond uh, reproach. Absolutely. But, and, and, but, uh, people, uh, but the point is that, you know, I think in, in some cases, you, you see Mahendran came in there, and was almost like a bull in a china shop making all those transfers and so on. And when you then compare it with what you've just said about uh, Dr. Kumar Swami, uh, it appears that uh, slow and steady is better than uh, being a bull in a china yeah, shop. Yeah, but at the moment with the report out, we mustn't get back to track or A. You must do something innovative, creative and bring these people and that is what the president is saying. Initiate laws, bring new laws, legislate, he's telling, put into parliament. And a wonderful job, I mean he's not going, he didn't say a word against Ranil Vikram Singh. He's putting it to the parliament and parliament will eat him up in bits and pieces. Including the UNP will realize where the mistake is. I think he's on his way out. Sadly, because he was a very clean man. As, as I say, he joined bad company, that's where it went wrong. He, can we, can we just take a slightly wider angle? How possible is it that Ranul Singer has been utterly under-informed, misinformed? I think that is uh, his own comments. I don't take that seriously because he has a duty as Prime Minister to supervise and see whether uh, he, uh, Aloysius' son was really the person, the young man who was chairman of Purple Jewel mm. Charities was really in place at that time. If Prime Minister gave that order, he should have enforced that order, he should have seen. He could have asked Mahendra and he meets him every day or probably very often as the minister. He could have asked him, is your son there still? Never. Son in law. So it's useless to say that uh, that he did not know anything about it. I think... Oh, I don't mean it that way. I mean about the technicalities of... Uh, uh, of the, the change in, this, in the system of awarding bonds and so on. Yeah, uh, you know, uh, there, there is a flip side, and so I'm trying to uh, ask you that, that flip side. Is it possible that the Prime Minister did, was underinformed, misinformed? I don't think so. It's difficult to give him that benefit of that doubt. But I certainly think there's three people involved in this who should be accountable. That is Mr. Malik Samarovikrama very largely and Kabir Hazin and the Prime Minister have to answer questions. Because the Attorney General You're had absolutely the, right. I, because the Attorney General had the opportunity, they didn't consider Malik Samarikram and Kabir Hussain beyond the President's uh, Prime Minister's own statement in Parliament. So that is why I have great reservations whether the Attorney General's department could carry this forward. I remember last time this happened, uh, Gotabe Rajapaksa requested me to carry the case against uh, the uh, which was against the soldiers and I did it because he felt that the Attorney General's department could not handle it. So once again, I think the President can have, he has loyal lawyers, he could turn to them and get their benefit and get this thing on a fast track. All he needs is some good, clear thinking minds with innovative and creative ability. When you examine this whole thing, and bearing in mind of course that you haven't uh, uh, read the report yet because it's not out in the open, is it? Um, by the way, will it be in the fullness of time, will it be released? It has to be because he, parliament, he's, he has sent it to Parliament, so each parliamentarian will have it. You say he has to, is he legally obliged to do that? He said so. He said he's going to refer it to Parliament, uh -huh. so that he has to report, the, he has to send the report, then it goes to the people's representatives. Some representatives can give it to the people. But, but the, any prosecutions or investigations can carry, be carried out simultaneously. Of course, simultaneously, where it, where it is possible, but where new laws, now this is where they have been very lackadaisical, the monetary board. They should have been on the ball and got these things by, in place by now. They should have had, the main thing here is the recovery of the money. This is public funds, if you recover it, the, it automatically it means that the people like uh, 
proper treasuries will have to find the money and pay it. You have to recover the money. That is the process that has been totally uh, left uh, unattended by the monetary board. That should have been in place. Knowing what was happening, they should have been aware of it. Instead, they were playing ball with the government. Playing Pandu with the people's money. That is what is recovered. First, you should recover that because that is sufficient punishment for it. Robin Dasri, it's been um, a wonderful experience having you here again this morning. Um, we never cease to be amazed. Uh, I'm afraid I've got no more time to to read out the several messages that uh, have been sent in by our viewers. Thank you very much for every one of them. And uh, do keep sending them in. And uh, that's about it. And that's the way it was on uh, Newsline on the f Friday, the 5th of January, 2018. Take care and God bless. News First, Newsline with Faraz Shaukatali.